for you all. I'm glad to say the game is back again. If you needed reminding, it's time to fasten those seatbelts for the endless roller coaster ride that is to come. Weston against Manchester. Well, I'm Peter Drury, and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Beckham. Thanks, Peter. It's a pleasure and a privilege for me to be here. Weston against Manchester. And we're underway. So, Jim, who do you identify as the key man in this fixture? Well, I'm going to go for the little wriggler, that is Raheem Sterling. And his small frame and, and pace gives him a real advantage over bigger, slower defenders. And his turning sharpness is another very tricky part of this game. He's a handful. He would be the obvious choice, wouldn't he? He certainly has all the right qualities. Otamendi gets good distance on it. Yaya Toure. De Bruyne. Sabaleta. De Bruyne. Is it out to the flank? Sterling looking for options. Midway through the first half, and there's an impotence about this game that's causing me concern. And probably most of the stadium too let's just hope that by the end it'll have been forgotten so that Korov puts on a charge down the left this is gone that's a foul under this boss, it's often a challenging period in the cycle. Locks it in gently. Lajic collects the ball from behind. That's not the cross he had in mind. Silva. De Bruyne. Aguero. Sterling. Zuma. Not until half time, and it is still goalless. Piate, Jenkinson, and it's Moses. Now the pass. Out towards the flank. Osvaldo! They've scored! On the cusp of half time! He delivers with perfect timing. Weston are certainly a team that knows how to play their football as stylishly as you'll see. Tiki Taka at its very best, and they back it up with goals. Weston break the deadlock. Well, that lifts some of the pressure, but they need to maintain their work rate. It's been very good up to now. Yaya Toure. Aguero. De Bruyne plays it out to the wing. Lukaku. The three's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to groove with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Weston to the dressing room in possession of a 1-0 lead. Weston carry a one-goal lead into the second half. Piatti. Obian. Lukaku. Now it's Lajic. Lajic passes it through. It's come 
loose. Weston just about have their noses in front. It is the slenderest of leads. It's Fernandinho. Tries a through ball. It's come through and he's had a quick look inside. Can he deliver? Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Shows the route one option. Weston haven't made a substitution yet. Lajic going full steam ahead down the left flank. Now it's Osvaldo. He's going to have a play. It's a poor throw that, kicked off with relative ease. Weston still one up. Pedro Orbian floats one over. And the battle goes straight through to the keeper. Half an hour gone in the second half. And they've scored near to half time to make it 1 0. Piate. Pedro Orbian. to the slenderest of leads, with time ebbing away. Manchester look as though they're about to make a change. It's a good throw at all, really. He's given away possession cheaply. Oh, the ball's come loose, and the chase is on. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Whistle's gone, and they've got themselves a free kick. And that's going to be a booking. Well, some of them are letting their emotions get the better of them. They don't want to inflame this any further. by a great piece of goalkeeping. Well, what a tester for the goalkeeper because it was struck a real vent. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Day one, job done, the perfect start they craved. Well, what are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Oh, it's the perfect way for a team to start a campaign. They'll be really happy with their win, and in my opinion, they were good value for it. All that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all.